Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the top 10 best of the best products that I've been trialing out both on and off camera during the last five months. It's been a long time since I've done a favourites video, I thought it was about time that I got in this chair and did one for you all, but it's been very, very difficult to narrow it down. So here we are, I had to narrow it down to 10, otherwise this video would have been super, super long. Anyway, we're gonna get on with it if you are new here. Hello, my name's Gemma, I upload new content on this channel every single week. I'd love it if you come and join the family by clicking on the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you are a returning viewer, hello to you as well, welcome back. So we're going to dive straight in. This portion of the video is sponsored by Current Body. A couple of weeks ago, they sent me their brand new LED mask to trial out, their LED mask series two. And I actually thought, oh, this is going to be really similar to the old one. They'll have just tweaked it slightly. Oh, no, no, no. This has had a complete overhaul. So although the technology is the same, the quality of the mask has increased tenfold. So let's go into the similarities and differences. So here is the series one and two side by side. Let's just talk about the obvious straight away. The mask is a different shape. This really does hug every single contour in the face. It does have a chin strap, so you are going to get LED penetration underneath the chin as well as all over the face as well, which I think is an absolutely fantastic addition. The mask itself is more comfortable to wear for me. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. It's got a much better strap on the back, which is a multi-way strap, way more comfortable than the Series 1 strap. And I feel like I can walk around the house whilst using this without it slipping down at all and without it creating any marks on the face. You'll also notice that there are way more LEDs on the Series 2 mask than were present on the original. Every single little bit of this mask is covered in LED technology, meaning that every single bit of your skin is going to get that light penetration and you'll receive better results. So let's go into those LEDs in a little bit more depth. So the Series 2 has 236 LEDs spanning across three different wavelengths as opposed to two different wavelengths in the Series 1. In the Series 2 mask, they've added 16 deep near-infrared LEDs at 1,072 nanometers. Now, leading studies have identified that that is the most effective wavelength for anti aging and skin rejuvenation. So they've placed these LEDs around those areas of the face that you see the most visible signs of aging. Once again, the Series 2, very similar to the Series 1. It's a very simplistic design. It's very easy to use. You cannot go wrong with this. You pop it on, you click the button, you wait 10 minutes, the lights go off, you take it off. It's as simple as that. The battery pack is slightly different. It does have a hook on there. So if you do like to be mobile, you can clip this on to whatever you're wearing so you don't have to hold it or put it in your pocket. So if you already have the Series 1 LED mask, do you now need to invest in the Series 2? Simple answer for you. Absolutely not. If the Series 1 mask is still working for you, it still has fantastic technology. If you're still getting great results, stick with it. If, however, you do feel like you're due an upgrade or you've never tried an LED mask before and you're wanting to benefit from the technology, I do have an offer code for you. That is Gemma LED and it will get you 10% off at checkout. You know me, if you've followed me for quite a long time, you'll know that I gush about products and I can't control my excitement if I love a product. Well, you would also think that if I've been using that product for months now, that gushing, that excitement would diminish over time. Apparently not. This is the e.l.f. Brow Laminating Gel, and I think it is just as good now, months after starting to use this, as it was on day one when I just opened it. And that, to me, is worth getting excited about, because usually when you open a brow laminating gel or any sort of brow hold gel, they're absolutely fantastic until they get a bit grubby, and then the hold starts to wane a little bit. This has not happened with this product. Now, I do like to do my brows before I do any of the rest of my makeup, so my brow gels do tend to stay 
cleaner for longer, but I've now been using this for weeks, if not months. The hold is fantastic. My brows do not move if I don't want them to throughout the day. You get this other side where you can really sculpt the brows and get them into position and really get that laminated look if you want that. But this just does not let me down. This has never let me down at all. And the hold is still there. I wear this every single day without fail, even on the days where I'm not wearing makeup. I do like my brows to have a little bit of shape and this just, it's a winner. Winner, winner. The next best of the best has to go to Hourglass. This is the liquid blush. I can't get enough of this. I seriously cannot get enough of this. I'm supposed to be trialing out different blushes on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't want to. I just want to use this one. I think it's not just the consistency and the texture of this, which are divine. It has quite an oily consistency when it's blended onto the skin, so it gives you that natural sheen without any sparkle whatsoever, which I love about this but the shade of this is just perfect on my skin tone. This is the shade Moment. I own multiple of these, but the shade Moment is the one that I go back to most frequently. It's just lovely. This is so easy to apply to the skin. So I like to apply one dab on the back of my hand. I smooth that out so it is a smooth, flat surface. And then I dip a flat brush in it and stipple it onto the skin. This is uber pigmented. So if you are frightened of pigment, don't apply a lot to the skin at once, but it blends out superbly well and it just melts into my skin. It's really hydrating, it's non-drying, I just love it. Okay, so I've got a couple of products that I'm gonna be talking about in this video that are the reasons why my skin is in such good condition at the moment. I mean, my skin is glowy, it's much more even, it is hydrated, it is plump, it just looks more youthful. Makeup glides on so much nicer at the moment and there are two products that are the reason behind that. So let's talk about the first one. This is one of the ones that I use in the evening and then I'm gonna talk about the other one a little bit later on in this video. This is from Biosense and it is the Squalane Plus Ectoin Overnight Rescue. This is a skin treatment. However, if you have super dry skin, like really rough, super dry skin that is really parched, dehydrated and just dry, 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 if the Dr. Sam's Flawless Moisturizer doesn't really touch the dryness on your skin, you need to get your hands on this because it's so good. Now it is a very heavy, thick, rich cream. This is not going to be for anybody with an oily skin unless you want to use this as a treatment if your skin barrier is impaired. But if you are using it as a treatment, you only need to use it once and then see how your skin is the day after. You might not need to use it the day after because it is that good at what it does. Let's talk about the Dior Forever Skin Perfect Stick Foundation. This is the best stick foundation I have ever used. It's one of the best foundations that I've tried in the last five years, let alone the last five months. I love this. The reason I like this so much is it looks like my skin only better and it is super quick to apply. This is not fussy in the slightest. A couple of swipes on the skin and it melts into the skin. It blends superbly well with a brush, with a sponge, with your fingers. It's also very versatile. You can build this up and get medium to full coverage or you can have this quite sheer coverage as a no makeup makeup. It's so smoothing. It's actually, considering this has a sheen on it, I find this quite blurring on my skin. This doesn't settle in any of my fine lines and it lasts all day and still looks beautiful at the end of the day. So it is really long wearing. It is not transfer resistant. That's what I will say. And the first time that I applied this, it did settle in my pores. And I thought, oh no, this is going to be one of those foundations that I can't wear without primer. Started to apply it with a primer, didn't have that problem anymore. Then got lazy and stopped using the primer and never had that issue again. So I'm not quite sure what I did to my skin on day one of trying this when it did settle in my pores, but it's not done it since. And I love it. 
it's a really quick and easy makeup application. Next up, we've got my GHD Kronos hair straighteners. I absolutely love these. And regardless of how ridiculously expensive they are, and I bought these with my own money, these were not a PR gift for me. I would not be without them. I think they are phenomenal. The technology in here, the fact that these do heat up to a really high temperature, but because of the plate technology, you don't have to go over each individual hair strand multiple times, so you're not going to be getting as much heat damage, and therefore, you can also do your hair much quicker. It takes me half the time to straighten my hair with these hair straighteners as it used to with my old hair straighteners, so I guess it's worth it for me. Is it really, though? <laughs> <laughs> I do love them. I also think that they are really versatile and they are great for curling your hair with. I've always struggled with curling my hair with a flat iron, usually because the straighteners are positioned in su such a way and designed so that they are completely flat and quite square. And it's very difficult to get a curl out of something that is in the shape of a square. So they've designed these really cleverly and made them the shape of a circle so that the hair molds to the shape of the curling iron and you can get a really nice curl out of them. So I can not only straighten my hair with these, I can curl them, I can wave them. So I really like it. This is a relatively new find for me. I was influenced to buy this by Nicola Haste, formerly Nicola Chapman of Pixie Woo. I follow her on Instagram and I saw her using this one day and thought, why have I not tried that? I do need this in my life. This is a subtle highlighter. This is also a gel-like consistency, really creamy and soft and smooth. It melts into the skin, which you all know is what I like. And because it's so subtle, you can't see it from the moon. It's just one of those products that, I mean, can you see? Just look. Can you see the sheen? It doesn't look fake. It just looks supernatural, glowy, and youthful. There is not a hint of sparkle or glitter in here. It is just glorious. I apply this with my fingers. I don't apply this with a brush. I've, I have applied it with a brush before and I've got a little bit too much on. And instead of giving me that glow, it starts to look a little greasy. So I don't do that anymore. Just tap my finger in and then just place it on the cheek wherever I want it, just underneath my brow bone sometimes. And yeah, Gorgeous. I have to mention the Gradual Tanner from Gatineau because hands down, this is one of the best 10 products that I've tried in the last five months. It's such a beautiful body moisturizer, first and foremost. So it does that job moisturizing and hydrating the body whilst also giving you a lovely tan. It is a gradual tan. However, if you do have fair skin like me, day one after first application, I got a really decent tan out of it. And you may feel that that is all you need until it wears off. This doesn't peel off. It doesn't pill off the skin. It gradually just gets a less and less of a tan, very much like a natural tan, which is why I love it so much. It's also incredibly easy to apply without any streaks and it doesn't have a guide color, so you don't have to worry about all your white sheets. You're not going to stain your white sheets. Another reason why I love it so much. So I'm not going to be using this as much during those winter months when I embrace my inner paleness, but on those days where I just need a little bit more confidence and it's amazing what a tan will do for my confidence. I've no idea why it affects me in that way, but I just feel so much better and so much healthier when I have a little bit of a tan. So yeah, when I do feel like I need a bit of extra confidence, apply this the night before and I am good to go. So absolutely love this. Great for fair skins. It is not orange at all. No streaks, easy to apply. It does have a bit of a smell. Not when you first apply, but it does have a bit of a smell the day after. So, you know, if you were hoping that it didn't, I'm gonna disappoint you there, but I mean, I can get over it because it is such a lovely product. 
Before I move on to the second product that has seriously done wonders for my skin, I just want to touch on the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Skin Secrets Immediate Eye Revival Patches. I have mentioned these a couple of times on my channel previously, so I will only just scratch the surface. I love these. The reason I love these is they are super hydrating. They are not heavy. They really pack my under eyes full of hydration, plumpness. They really smooth out the skin underneath my eyes, making it the perfect canvas for any sort of makeup product. So because these don't contain caffeine, I don't find them really drying or irritating either. In fact, quite the opposite. I find these really cooling, really calming, very comfortable to wear, smoothing, hydrating. I just, uh, yeah, I really like them. I didn't want to like them. I'm not a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury skincare, but these for me are a winner. And finally, a product that has seriously elevated my skincare routine and in turn my skin as well is the 20% Vitamin C Brighten and Firm Serum from Allies of Skin. I absolutely love this. However, I need to make mention the Dr. Sam's Flawless Vitamin C first because if you are a regular to my channel, you will know how sensitive my skin is to vitamin C products. When I'd ever I tried a vitamin C in the past, I'd broken out, I'd got blackheads, I'd got skin irritation, skin congestion, and my skin was seriously red and angry with me until I found the Dr. Sam's Flawless Vitamin C, which really did give my skin a base. So it's got a 15% vitamin C complex, which is really, really gentle, but does the job. And it gave me that base so that I could tolerate something a little bit stronger. I don't think I would have been able to jump into this on its own with my skin being so sensitive to vitamin C without trying the Dr. Sam's Flawless Vitamin C to begin with. So thank you very much, Dr. Sam, for that amazing product. So the Allies of Skin 20% Vitamin C is a waterless base and it's also ethylated L-ascorbic acid. So it's extremely stable. So it really does do the job of brightening, tightening, firming, just giving me that lovely glow to my skin, as well as being super hydrating and nourishing for my dry skin. I do not think that anybody with an oily skin will really get on with this because it is so nourishing on the skin. So this has a really thick consistency that then melts into the skin with the aid of water. So it's really important that you not only shake this product up before you dispense it onto your hands, but it's also really important that you spritz your face with either water or some sort of mist before you apply this because the water, the dampness on the skin will aid absorption of the vitamin C. Because this is quite a thick consistency and it feels quite hydrating and nourishing, a little bit like an oil, the water is essential to make sure that this penetrates the skin really deeply. My skin feels and looks so much better after only a couple of weeks of using this. So yeah, I, I absolutely love it. It has other beneficial ingredients in there as well, but I use it for the antioxidant protection and also to wipe out any discoloration and pigmentation that I have on my skin. And my skin is definitely looking much, much clearer and more even since having used it. So that's it. They are my top 10 best of the best products out of all of the products that I've been testing on and off camera over the last five months. That is a long time. That is a lot of products to choose from, but I am happy with my final decision. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you've thought about it in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.